Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and let's continue on with a build guide for Enya Exuvia. So as you all know guys, we get her for free. We do only get one copy though. So if you want to get more copies of her, you have to pull in her current banner. We'll talk more about weapon of choice and if 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 uh, the weapon banner for her is going to be viable. So starting off again, she's free. Um, she she has I think a place in your roster, especially if uh, considering that you're going to be using three groups of uh, what they call this three or two or two groups of operatives on some other game modes or probably three. Um, so you can actually slot her in more or less in one of those groups. She's very useful in terms of a support only. Um, I don't think you'll be using her much for her standard skill and for her ultimate skill. So starting off, let's, uh, speaking of skills, let's move on to her skills. We have here a Storms on Rush. So you have here, um, this is like a thunder, this is like a wave moving forward. So it's basically a moving barrier that goes to the enemy. So it uh, hits with electrical damage, although the damage is kind of big at 650 of Enya's attack plus 3 to 4. Um, it adds though, paralyze if you've opened up the neural skills and also increase the width of the thunder wave by 100%. So it widens the wave moving forward. But again, take note that this skill is uh, it only one direction. So it basically moves forward where you are pointing your, your camera or where Enya is looking at. So useful if you're gonna be using her as your main operative, but again, her main strength is not going to be this one. We're going to be skipping her support skill. I'm going to be this. Uh, uh, I'm going to be talking about that uh, as a last uh, skill. Uh, next up is going to be her ultimate. So for her ultimate, uh, it's kind of meh for this ultimate. It's it's kind of weird. It deals damage. She enters the pod. The pod deals damage, electrical damage as well. It heals her by the way, but it's weird because it's an ultimate. So you get to have that, you know, that uh, that uh, you that uh, occasional ye uh, heal, but you'll have to use her because you can't use. I think you can use the ultimate. I think, but it's gonna be her. It's gonna be her. So once she uses her ultimate, she gets to heal herself. But again, this skill is not what we are getting her. You can actually trigger the detonation with the electrical damage and the heals with another click of the ultimate button so again this is not the main function of her kit uh although when you add her neural skill um uh, the pod moves slowly and the damage and the heal increases by 20 percent. so this is rain's ad abundance in her ultimate skill next up is going to be her day was alignment day was alignment guys is simply full squad skill damage increases by 12 so if you're not using her uh, you're going to be using her as a support. This applies to the active operative that you're using. So 12% for each 100 uh, index. Uh, it's going to be a plus 1%. So a little bit of an increase. Uh, probably if you could give it probably 300, it could be 50%, not just 12. So again, a nice thing to have as well for her kit because it complements her whole team. And lastly, we're going to be talking about the support skill, which is Wind's Chronicle. So Wind's Chronicle is, uh, the cooldown, by the way, is actually 5 seconds, which is quick. Which is nice, because sometimes you have to move this. Energy cost, though, is at 25 for this skill. So she places a Zephyr machine, generates a ring of Zephyr. It's like, it's, it's like an AoE placed around her. When she is um, in that AoE... Increases the skill damage of operatives within and not particularly her but if you're for example your active operative is going to be Haru Then this the the skill damage of Haru uh, Is increased. We'll go to that later. So Again, there's a there's another trick to this um, to this uh, Support skill 
also if you're in that uh, uh what they call this in that aoe of the ring of zephyr if you try to shoot using your gun ballistic damage at an enemy you can generate natural or order stacks if you have natural order stacks uh maximum i think this is going to be at 30 stacks so the third uh, if you have stacks there and if you have uh, par probably partially filled it up or filled it up once you use your your skill or standard skill for the active operative it adds electrical damage to that skill so you can actually check it out there's an additional damage uh once you use your standard skill so it's this kind of doubles your damage output for your standard skill for your active operative except uh, uh, example again is haru and um enya is going to be your support operative so um zephyr machine duration is at 20 seconds you can actually transfer the zephyr machine's location but it will continue let's say for example there's an existing one there then you, if you want transfer location it, the duration carries over to the new one but uh, you're going to be in a different location so also increases um anti-interruption ability of operatives within so that is for the new neural skill so skill damage boost of ring of zephyr is at 18 percent take note there are a lot of buffs with her skill so uh support skill and her deus alignment gives uh buffs to skill damage um from right now from what i'm seeing this is at this base is at 18 percent the base of this one is going to be a 12 so that is going to be a kind of a maximum not a maximum a minimum of 30 percent bonus skill damage to your active operative as long as uh winds chronicle or um the ring of zephyr is in place so maximum 30 it could go up depending on how you level up your um alignment index so damage of natural order when consumed is 72 percent of enya's attack plus 50. so that is her skill you're gonna be using her much for her um support skill not so much for the other skills again she is not gonna appear much on you know on your battle she's going to help you in the back end with her support skill okay going towards our weapon here so this weapon you can actually farm it in the shop um you can actually buy it here at um you can buy it here for 150 uh other copies you can buy it here so tribute of rose so is this weapon going to be good? Let's uh, check it. Uh, check out the details here. So she needs an electric damage weapon because part of her manifestation later will need this one. So this one is good. Uh, a decent reroll. Um, good with ammo capacity of 12. Familiar design though. Um, so this one gives her um, additional uh, skill damage. So full squad gains one stack of bright pistol for three seconds. When supple bud and bright pistol are both active, they will combine in full bloom. Increases full squad skill damage by 4.2% up to three seconds, up to four stacks. So probably maximum 16. Um, I'm sure that her, you know, for weapon banner, weapon is going to be better. But this one is actually decent, especially if you take this to tier five. Uh, right now, I only have one copy, though, for my Enya. Um, I'm still trying to farm the banner, and I'm also trying to farm copies of this. Although, I'm already at level 80 for this. It gives you an attack boost of 33%. So, this weapon is decent, especially if, if it's a tier 5. Again, for the weapon, it all boils down to if you have uh, the budget, if you have a wallet to spend for this more or less it's going to be you know up to you to decide whether this one is good for you or if you want to go for the maximum damage output for the weapon or damage buff for the weapon which will be abyssal light okay for abyssal light again she is uh, going to be electrical damage almost similar stat more or less um but this one you only need two copies to max it out so tier two so this one increases the equipment operative skill support damage by 48 percent take note that's a big leap um 
again, this is really subjective whether if you want to get this and you want to invest and uh, you get, definitely get this if you want to invest. If not, if you're saving up, then go get the other one which you can farm for. So again, I won't say much about all the details here. Bottom line is this gun is, uh, I won't say a must have. Um, she's only a support uh, type character. She's not really even DPS. I don't think she's going to be part of your main DPS. But again, it would be good if you have this one, this this uh, this pistol. But again, the other one is serviceable. But Abyssal Light, definitely, if you want to increase the damage output of skills for your team, definitely you are going to have to get this one. So recommended but not a must okay next up is going to be for her logistics okay logistics wise we get her for free right we also get the logistics for free so if you notice you already got these babies here so the stats wise for these logistics are actually fixed they gave us good stats which is attack and alignment index which is a must for the character of Enya. So again, you have to get our Rekka squad for this. Um, uh, again, uh, if you missed her free version, you have to get this logistics as well. So again, let's go over the, the logistics. So if you have two, uh, increase the equipping uh, operatives attack by 12, which is uh, Enya. When equipped with an electrical weapon and when equipping operative is off the field, Increase the deployed operatives attack by 12%. So it gives 12 to Enya, 12 as well to the um, active operative in the field. On With three officers, you get um, support skill damage deals applies conductor to target. After, three, after an operative deals skill damage to target with conductor, increases the equipping operatives electrical damage by 17%. So this adds to electrical damage only. Okay, so again, try to make sure that the third stat here is electrical damage. If you could roll for that, that would be particular. That would be very, very nice to have, especially to add more damage to her kit. Not only for her, you know, sports skill, but all her other skills as well. And also her weapon. So again, make sure that you build a Rekka squad with um, alignment index, attack, and this would be electric damage okay so moving back we have manifestation up to where do you think you should build her right now if you want to you know give her a decent build um try to build her up to m3 but we'll go through m1 first so m1 when an operative is within ring of zephyr so this is going to be the sports skill or eye of zephyr uh, the upgraded version their skills consume an extra two stacks of natural order to increase the final damage of natural order by 100 percent so this pertains to the electrical damage by natural order so this is a nice boost as well so additional damage apart from the existing uh, additional damage that uh, the support skill has so when a shot ricochets accumulates nat natural order as well so which is going to be nice because pistols sometimes are prone to ricochet so next up is M2, verse of the land. When any operative is within Ring of Zephyr for at least five seconds, the Ring of Zephyr grows into the Eye of Zephyr. This is what I meant. So this expands or upgrades it. It is a larger AOE because sometimes you need a larger AOE for that. Uh, you know, you don't need to move it. This has to have a larger AOE. And skill damage bonus increases by 15%. Another 15%. Apart from, I think the existing that we mentioned earlier was uh, 30. So this is actually nice to have. But um, try to get her to M3, which when equipped with an electrical weapon, generation of Ring of Zephyr immediately grants 30 stacks of natural order. Which means that uh, once you, you do use her support skill, immediately it will have 30 stacks. So you can basically use, uh, you don't have to generate at the start you can use your 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 skills already and have additional damage from the stacks of natural order um for her m4 uh just a additional skill level 
for the Ring of Zephyr. Um, although this is nice, skill damage bonus by 33. But again, uh, you have other you know, operatives to consider. So this one you can just park. And the last one would be Ballistic Shot of Full Squad have a 50% chance to grant an extra stack of Natural Order for the Zephyr Machine. So more or less up to M3 is my recommendation that you get her manifestation to be at least good, good enough. Okay, so Neuronics here, um, already upgraded all, but the priority obviously would be for her um, support skill. Secondary priority would be for her standard skill. And the last would be for her ultimate skill. Again, first is going to be support. Uh, standard then the last one would be her ultimate skill okay well let, let's uh, talk more on team comps for Enya Exuvia okay just to be clear she doesn't really have a specific pair um, she is actually good with any of the the damage dealing um, operatives um that we have um just gonna enumerate a few my favorites would be starting off with the new one um enigma cherno so again more damage for that um void that she puts out again a terrific terrific addition for that combo um i'm sure you guys have used it already uh gonna gonna be melting more bosses in the future next up is going to be haru haru also has a nice um standard skill especially if you you after you use her ultimate she you know dishes out a lot of damage for her standard skill which if you have um enya would really bump up the damage for that but I, this one i tried already insane damage um if you have Enya on your team. Next, um, which I have seen other people do with a lot of damage, she's going to be changing her, what do you call this? Her standard skill also has increased damage because of Enya Exuvia. So those are the top three, I think, that um, will really, really benefit, mostly because they are being used more. The other, um, the other ones that I'd like to mention are um, Life, uh, Wild Hunt, because for me, it's uh, if you don't have stacks already of Natural Order, it's easier to get that stack up because she uses an SMG. Then you can actually have an infinite loop with her skill and additional electric damage with her standard skill. So this one is a fun... You know combo when you use life and when you have Enya as her support the last one i think that uh, you might want to consider if you are actively using is going to be marion swift so for her kit um standard scale also um adds to uh Enya actually adds to the damage of her standard skill but uh for me um, I would consider life more because again she 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 easy she she makes um, she stacks up um, order natural order better than Marion Swift. So those are my team cop recommendations. Again, you are not limited to the recommendations that I have. Um, if you have other operatives that uh, you want to increase the damage of their standard skill or their ultimate skill, definitely you can actually pair her with um them okay so what are my overall thoughts uh basically it's it, it's a wonderful free you know free uh orange tier operative especially if you are starting just you know just starting out um this will give you really a really big advantage if you're a beginner i, re I actually made a video already uh before this one um six reasons why you should start playing uh, Snowbreak. i'll put a link up in the description uh a link in the description plus a you know you can click it up there i think uh, if you can see it so more or less um she's going to be a big head start for beginners a also a very nice compliment to some of uh, to your support you know support uh operatives uh her buff is really really significant in terms of her support skill so please do 
uh, you know, play the game, log in. If you've stopped the game, rejoin the game because she is not really a, an OP unit, but a valuable support to have moving forward. She'll definitely have a spot on your roster. She, For me, I think she's well balanced because her, her ultimate doesn't really have an impact on how you play her. But again, you'll only be using her much for her support skill. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.